right, so if you missed the segment that we did, I believe it was on Thursday, it's on our uh, New Center Main YouTube. I did a segment on how people didn't realize this, but crime, especially violent crime, has been consistently down since the late 90s, mid 90s. Mm -hmm. And so I said I'd follow up on, well, what happened, things that worked and things that didn't that led to this um, decline. So this is where we're picking it up from. Okay. For those of you who are not following along at home. Okay, so let's start with this statistic, which is interesting. The United States represents about 4.4% of the world's population, but it houses around 22% of the world's prisoners. And that varies between 20 and 23%, depending on the year. So look at this graph, to just to give you an idea. The United States is at the top um, in incarceration there, and um, as far as industrialized nations, it's really not very close at all. So what impact does this have on the crime rate? What's interesting is it's counterintuitive, as a lot of facts might be. There's not a huge correlation here, and especially there's a diminishing return, meaning when you incarcerate a certain percentage of the population, you start losing any return on that. So what we're looking at here is a graph in percent decrease in, uh, in, uh, in a crime based on the incarceration rate, and the only one that there's a really kind of noticeable change at the beginning in the 90s and uh, 80s is motor vehicle theft. And that has to do partially with the fact that that might be a s bit more of a specialized skill. So if you put those people in prison, it might be harder. But for others, like um, robbery and homicide, there is very, very little correlation between increasing the prison population and decreasing those particular uh, crimes. And here's another way to look at it. If we look at it at the state by state level, um, you, now this is a lot is a lot of graph. I don't know if we can zoom in at all in this, but some of the states with the biggest increase in prison population, which is in the gray bar there, have actually increased crime rates. So look at West Virginia at the very bottom there. They have the largest increase in incarceration rate in the country, and they also have an increase in total crime rate. Whereas some of the states to the left hand side there, like New Jersey and New York and Texas. Um, Connecticut, Maryland, they have a decrease in incarceration rate and they also have a decrease in crime rate. So what you're seeing there is that there is no correlation that would lead you to believe that the more people you put in jail, the less you're going to have of crime, especially when you get to a certain diminishing uh, return. So there's a study they did in 2015, really good, Brennan Center for Justice, one of the, one of the best studies out there. And basically, the increased incarceration accounted for approximately 6% of the reduction of property crime in the 90s and less than 1% in the 2000s, showing that diminishing return again, and had no effect in the drop in violent crime in the last 24 years. And the reason for this might be kind of obvious, but I'm going to point it out, which is if you are convicted of a violent crime, you're going to jail regardless. So a lot of these increases in incarceration are somewhat lower level crimes that are not affecting the violent crime rate or even that much the property crime rate. You look at a lot of low level drug infractions, for example. So uh, putting more people in prison, although it, it seems like it would help, it, it doesn't once you get those true violent offenders off the street. One final thing is a lot of studies have shown that low level offenders that are incarcerated are then more likely to commit more violent crimes after because they've been put in this prison culture for a while. So by no means am I saying you shouldn't put people in jail. It's just that there's a certain level in which that doesn't do any good on the crime rate anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting to look at those statistics. So that didn't work. So we're going to do one tomorrow. I was going to say, the next question is, what does? Yeah, so yeah. we'll do one tomorrow uh, that did work, and we'll have okay. a couple of those. All right.